In today's world, building a website is almost as easy as setting up an account on your favorite social media platform. With services like WordPress and Elementor, which are free by the way, you don't have to have any coding experience in order to get a professional looking website up and running in just under 10 minutes. At this point, your only requirements are a computer and an internet connection. In just 10 minutes, you can have a fully functioning website that you can use to share your ideas, showcase your work, and sell your products. In just three steps, I'm gonna get you guys up and running online, starting with securing your own domain name and hosting. Then we're gonna choose a template. And finally, we're gonna customize your site. So step number one is to get a domain name and Web hosting. A domain name is the unique address for your website, while web hosting is just the space where your website is stored. You need both in order to have a functioning and accessible website that can be found on the internet. It's kind of like needing to sign up for a phone carrier and a phone number so that you can make phone calls. So in order to get your domain name and hosting in one tidy package, go ahead and click on the first link that's down in the description, or you guys can go to createaprowebsite.com slash hostinger, and it'll take you to our special co-brand and landing page that we have with them. From here, we're gonna scroll on down and you'll see that they have three different hosting plans available. I'm gonna recommend the premium hosting plan because that's the one that I always recommend in every tutorial. We're gonna click on select right here. Next, you get to choose your period, and you've got 1 month, 12, 24, and 48 months. Now, I'm going to select the 12 months because my domain registration is for one year, so this way my hosting also matches up with it. From here, you can scroll on down, and you'll be able to enter in your payment information down below, and they have credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, and all of those things. You'll notice that the coupon code create a pro website is applied. You want to make sure that's here, and it's going to automatically apply if you go to the URL that's in the description. And that's what's giving you that massive discount on your web hosting plan. So instead of paying $143.88, we're only paying around $32.29 for the first website. So that's pretty good. I'll see you guys on the next screen after you guys hit submit. All right, now that you've finished purchasing your hosting plan, it's time to set up our website. We can go over here and click on start now, and we can choose to create a new website. Now, if you already have a website, you can always migrate it over by clicking on this button, but we're going to choose to create a new one. From here, we get to choose the platform that we're going to use to build the website, which I'm going to be using WordPress, so click on select here. And now we get to create our login details for our WordPress account. And so this is what you're going to use to log into the back end to edit your website every time. So make sure you remember this password. And then I'm going to click continue. It's going to ask if you want to add any plugins to your website, any of these before you get started. I'm going to say skip. And now we get to choose if we want to use one of the templates that they have available. And so you can click on show more just like this and you can take a look at any of these if you want. But honestly, I'm gonna say skip, I don't need a template. From here, we can name the website, which is essentially claiming our domain name. And if you chose the premium package like I did, you get a free domain name included in the premium package, which is usually about $10. So that's a pretty good saving right there. I'm gonna click on select and then I can enter in whatever domain name I want. So let's try this one. And whenever you find a domain name that you want, you also get to choose the dot right behind it. And so I always recommend using a dot com right here, but you guys can scroll through the list and pick what you want. Okay, my domain name is available. So I'm going to click on continue. Now I'm just going to click on finish registration. And then I'm going to click on finish setup. And now Hostinger is just going to finish up setting up my website. All right, and just like that, our website is up and running and ready to go. From here, I'm going to click on edit website. So step number two is downloading a plugin called Starter Templates. Now website templates are essentially pre-built websites that you can download and customize afterwards. This way we don't have to set up an entire structure before customizing. And plugins are basically just like apps on your smartphone. You can download them onto your website and just add extra functionality to it. Downloading a website template is gonna save you so much time from building it from scratch. And the best part is you don't even have to have any design experience because it's all done for you. All you have to do is just swap out some pictures and text and then you're done. So from your WordPress down, Dashboard, we're going to go over to the plugins tab right here and we're going to click on add new, but I'm going to open it up on a new tab. And from here, we're going to go to the search bar right over here in the top right corner and look for starter templates. And you're going to select the first one that pops up, which is starter templates for Elementor, WordPress, Beaver Builder templates. I'm going to click on install and then activate. After you click on activate, you're going to be taken directly to your plugins page, basically just showing you all of the different plugins that are enabled on your website. The only one that we care about right now, though, is starter templates right here. So we're going to click on see library. And then from here, we can click on build your website now. And we're going to be using Elementor as our page builder. So let's click on that. Now, this is where you can choose from any of these templates down below. You've got free ones like this and then premium ones like this that you would have to pay for. So I'm going to stick to using a free template. And I'll let you guys look through all of the templates that they have. You also have all of your categories up here that you can look through, or you can just use the search bar right here. Whenever you want to actually pick a template, all you got to do is click on it just like this, and then you get a live preview on the right-hand side that you can scroll through and look at. 
And then over here on the left hand side is how you can get started in selecting this template. You can upload the logo if you already have it right here. If you don't have a logo though, you can just hit skip and continue. Then you get to choose the color scheme of the website, which is gonna change the same color throughout the entire website as you can see. And then you can also do the same thing for the fonts down here. You can change different fonts throughout the website. I'm just gonna to stick to the default and then click on continue. And from here, you just wanna make sure that all of these checkboxes are checked except for this one if you care about that. And then we can click on submit and build my website. And just like that, you can see, congratulations, your website is done. It only took 12 seconds to build apparently. We're gonna click on view your website just like this. And now if anyone goes to the domain name that you just purchased, so for me, it's 10mintutorial.com, they're gonna be able to see the website that you just downloaded. Now that we have the foundation of a website done, that being the template, of course, all that's left to do is customize that template to our liking. This just means swapping out some pictures and text to fit it to your business, and then you're done. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So in order to edit your website inside of Elementor, all you have to do is go over here and click on edit with Elementor in the top corner. Now, if you're ever on your WordPress dashboard and you actually wanna continue editing your website, you can go ahead and open up your website on a new tab. So let me go ahead and do that right now. We'll just open up the website on a new tab, just like this. And it's gonna look the same as it just did a second ago. And again, same thing, we're gonna click on edit with Elementor right here. All right, welcome inside of Elementor. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of all these news boxes and things like that. Over here on the left-hand side, we've got the menu where we've got all of the different widgets that we can drag into our website. And it's also where we're gonna make changes anytime we click on anything like this, as you can see. So this is where most of the changing settings is gonna happen. Over here on the right-hand side, we've got the live preview of our website. And then down here in the bottom left corner is where we can do things like preview our changes and update, which is basically the save button. Now you'll notice as I move my mouse over this right-hand side preview of the website, there's these pink boxes that keep popping up everywhere. And so these are all just different widgets and things that you can edit, but you don't really need to worry about all of that. All you have to know is if you wanna edit something, you just basically have to click on it. And so if I wanna change this text right here, I can click on it and I can literally start typing on screen just like this, pretty easy. I can do the same thing by clicking over here on the left-hand side and I can try to type over here as well. And you'll see that it pops up on the right-hand side. If you ever wanna change the font or the color or like the size of the font, instead of being under the content tab after clicking on it, you can go over to the style tab and you can change things like the text color right here. You've got the typography. And if you click on the pencil icon, you can change the font. As you can see, we've got the font right here. You can change the size by dragging the slider. We've got things like uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, all of these things if you want to. If you wanna edit the button, it's the exact same thing. You can just click over here inside of this pink box right here, or you can always click on the pink little pencil icon. And the same settings are gonna open up over here on the left-hand side, but as you can see, we're editing the button. And buttons are really easy to edit. You'll see that first the text is right here, and so you can literally just type out whatever text you want, just like this. And then you can also enter in the link right here, and you'll just delete this little hashtag place marker and you'll see that you can enter in whatever link you want. And so anytime someone clicks on this button, it'll take them to that link. But I'll put that placeholder back for now. If you ever wanna change the color of the button or the color of the font or the typography of the font or anything like that, again, you're just gonna go over here to the style tab because you're trying to change the style or the look of the button. And from here, you've got things like the typography, which is the same thing as when you were editing the text earlier. So you've got size, the font, and all of that stuff. You've also got the text color and the button color. So the button color right now is just by default not using a color because it's using the global color palette. But if you really wanted to change the color, you can click right here and just choose whatever color you want. And as you can see, I'm changing the color of the button. I can do the same thing with the text color as well. I could make the text red if I want to, or I could make it white just like this, as you can see. But I'm gonna go ahead and clear that to use the default color palette. If you wanna change out the background image, you're just gonna go up here to these six dots right up here, and you'll see that it says edit section, so that's what you're gonna click on. And now you're editing the section, which you can basically think of a section as like the background back here. So this is one section. This down here, this white area is another section. And so I could also change the background of this if I wanted to from white to black or something like that. You can click on the six dots right here, and you'll see that you're editing the section. And from here, you'll go over to the style tab. Next, to change the background image, you're just gonna hover your mouse right here and you'll see that you can choose the image. So I'm gonna click on it and I can change the image to be whatever I want. I can either select one that's saved already on my website or I can upload files from my computer by clicking on select files right here and I can upload whatever pictures I want. 
And you can edit the rest of the features on your website in the exact same way. If you want to change the text, all you have to do is just click on it right here and start typing and you can. If you want to change out these pictures, you can just click on the pencil icon right here and you can literally just click choose image right here and it's the same thing. You're going to upload the file from your computer. And you can do that for all three. And the same goes for the rest of the content on your website. Once you're done making changes to your website, be sure to click on the update button down here in the bottom left corner, which is going to publish all of the changes you just made live to your website so everyone can see them. You can also click on this eyeball icon right here to preview changes that you made to your website. Now let's talk about changing your logo and your menu up on top, as well as the footer down below. It's really easy to do. When you're previewing your website like this, instead of clicking on edit with Elementor, you're just going to click on customize right here. If you're on your WordPress dashboard, however, all you have to do is just open up your website on a new tab, just like this. And then from here, you can click on customize. Anytime you want to edit anything inside of the customizer like this, all you got to do is hover your mouse over it and then click on the blue pencil icon, and it'll take you straight to the setting that you want to change. Right now, we're trying to change the logo, which as you can see is right here. And so all I have to do is click on change image, and I can upload files from my computer and change the logo if I want to. And just like that, my new logo has appeared. I can also go down here to the logo width and I can drag this slider and basically change the size of my logo. So something like this. If you want to edit the menu over here on the right hand side, you can click on the blue pencil icon right here and you'll be prompted to configure the menu right here. So if you click on it, you'll actually be able to edit the menu. We can see that the primary menu is right here. So I'm going to click on edit menu. And now you'll see that home about services and contact all appear right here, home about services contact. And so if you want to rearrange the order, you can literally just drag and drop it like this. And so now you can see that about is in front of home. If you want to add or remove items, you can click on add items right here and you can add from different pages on your website, which are right here under pages, or you can remove items as well by either having this open and clicking on the red X right here, or you can always highlight one like this and then click on remove. Editing the footer of your website is pretty much the same thing. You scroll on down here and if you want to make a change, just hover your mouse over whatever you're trying to change and click on the blue pencil icon. You'll be taken directly to that item that you're trying to change. Right now, I want to replace this image with my logo. So what I can do is delete it by clicking on this remove button right here. And instead I can add my own media. So let's go ahead and add the logo that I created for this website. And now, just like that, my logo is displaying in the footer. You can also change these by clicking on the pencil icon, which again, it's just another menu and it's using a different footer menu. So down here under the footer, rather than the primary, you can click on edit menu and you can edit the same menu again. Over here on the right hand side, if you click on the pencil icon, you'll be taken to the copyright where you can type out whatever you want. Whenever you're done making changes to your website, make sure you click on the blue publish button in the top left corner to save your work and publish it live to the internet. Now that we're done making our changes, we can go ahead and close out of our tab and go back to the WordPress dashboard. And from here, we can always open our website up just by clicking on the name or visit site. I'm going to go ahead and make some changes to show you guys what's possible just by changing out the text and pictures on a website. That's all I'm going to do. All right, after just changing some pictures on the website as well as some text, you guys can see how professional you can actually make a website look, as well as how pictures can completely change the brand of a website. I uploaded my logo, added pictures in the background, changed a couple of the colors, and voila, it looks fantastic. Now this tutorial is great for learning how to build a website as fast and as simple as possible. However, if you want to watch a complete tutorial where I show you guys step by step how to build a website using the same stuff that we use in this video, which was WordPress and Elementor, then go ahead and check out this video right here where I hold your hand through the entire design process and I show you guys how to use Elementor to its fullest capabilities. This tutorial is much more in depth, being a little bit over an hour long, and I get to show you guys how to change every aspect of your website, including the header and footer, as well as how to create a logo for your website for free and much more. So I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.